When you understand boxing like me, is it takes it to a whole other level. Wilder be a, a fresh champion, the main Stavern who it was making his first defence of the belt. Not really that good. Joshua beat Charles Martin, a guy who won a title on a default. Probably never even should have been a world champion. A guy that was a world champion because the IBF stripped me with having four days of the belt and give it to somebody else. So that's how he became a world champion. I became a world champion by beating a guy who had 26 title defences and unbeaten in 11 years in his own country, his own backyard. So that means I be I'm the man to beat. And none of these guys of my era can ever be considered, or even looked at, as the man until they beat Umar. And that ain't easy to do. We gonna see. We are, I don't even know how many days. Oh, we are a month away, 30 days away from the fine. Actually, um, 29 days away from February the 22nd, 2020. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2 for the WBC and Ring Magazine titles. Yes, the ring title is on the line. And a PBC fighter will be fighting for the ring title. It's amazing. I'm high. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. The pay-per-view is going to call $79.99 here in the States. $79.99, 80 schmacks. You can buy it on ESPN Plus and the um, Fox Sports app. I put those links right down below in the um, description box. So far, the undercard rumors is looking like it's going to be um, Emmanuel Navarrete versus uh, Gio uh, Santissima um, for the WBO 122-pound title. Also, another rumor is that it's going to be um, the Prince, Charles Martin, who was just talked about by um, uh, Tyson Fury versus Jared Washington. Now, I never expected for the undercard to be too stacked up anyway because these two guys are both going to make $20 million plus dollars or get or guaranteed around it's it's a lot of money these guys are going to make let's just say that all right here is some good news though the show the pro programming or the content build up is starting this weekend so on saturday at three damn i forgot what time it was let me check real quick pbc fight camp this saturday january the 26th check your local listings i'm not your goddamn tv guide Damn, it's not coming up. I'm not your goddamn TV guy, all right? Check your local listings. But the first episode of PBC Fight Camp is going to be this Saturday, January the 25th, on Free TV Fox here in the States. For those in the UK, I'm sorry. You guys don't get the episodes until they put them onto YouTube. But I'm sure now that um, BT um, has secured the fights to the rights to the fight, you're getting your own content, which I'll also be reviewing. But I'll be reviewing every single episode of PBC Fight Camp because I haven't missed one. So I'm loving that so far that, you know, with a new content, you know, the first ever PBC on Fight Camp was last year with um, um, Errol Spence versus uh, Mikey Garcia, you know, and then they went on to uh, Pacquiao versus um, um, Thurman, then Spence versus Porter, then Wilder versus Ortiz 2, and now Wilder versus Fury 2. So I really, I really want to see and hope that they're going to be following Tyson Fury around. Basically, we saw that Deontay Wilder has some content coming up um, on ESPN because he sat down with Joe Tessitore, you know, who commentates for uh, Top Rank on ESPN. So we know they got some content coming up, but see, they got to start getting it out now, one month before the fight. I want to see PBC Fight Camp. So episode two is going to air on the first. So basically, it's usually four episodes of PBC Fight Camp leading up to the fight. How the old HBO 24-7 format used to be. It used to be three or four, but whatever, it's four. So it's one each week before the fight. And the last one comes on like the Tuesday before or the Wednesday or maybe even Thursday before the fight. I forgot. So this shit is creeping up right on us, man. But I still don't feel overwhelmed yet with content. Like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm hyped. Oh, they got this coming on. Oh, I got to watch this. I mean, yeah, we're seeing more and more interviews coming out. But outside of that, you know, where's everything at? But let's go look at the um, let's say 100, the heavyweight division and talk about what's going on. Anthony Joshua was in heavy negotiations to fight Kubrat Pulath. It's some big, big, big news coming up with that because is it going to be on the zone or is it going to be on ESPN Plus? You think that ESPN or ESPN Plus is not going to throw the bank? Like that's a big storyline right there. You know, throw the bank to get try to get Anthony Joshua on their platform. 
That's one of the reasons why they signed up Pulev and signing up guys like Big Baby Miller and um, Oscar Rivas. But those are whole different videos. We're going to talk about that. Deontay Wilder, WBC. Him and Fury are supposed to fight twice this time this year. Just fucking Dylan White over. It's crazy. You know, Alexander Usyk. It's crazy that we may be able to see Alexander Usyk versus a uh, Derek Tussauds for the WBO title because it's looking like Joseph Parker don't want it. And Adam Kwanowski is fighting on March the 7th. And Andrew, I don't know. It's some weird shit going on with that WBO over there. And I'm not talking about Manuel Char or 35-year-old Joe Joyce who wants to take an interim bout before he fights Daniel Dubois. It's like, bro, like, you fucking 35. You know, y'all got to do something now. You know, Adam Kwanowski versus Robert Henley. It's just like, yo, what the fuck? You know, I understand that he sells well in the Barclays Center, you know, but like, what the fuck? You know, we don't know what Luis Ortiz or Andy Ruiz is up to yet. Here, let's go check it out. Look at the uh, programming. So it's going to premiere on the Fox Sports Go app on the 26th at 8 p.m. So wait, no, here's the schedule. No, yeah, it does say it. PBC Fight Camp Wilder versus um, 3.30 p.m. on uh, Saturday. So you can watch it here. It's going to be on um, Free TV Fox, but you can also watch it on the Fox Sports Go app. Anything that's on Free TV Fox and FS1 and FS2 are on the Fox Sports Go app, which is awesome. Then they're showing the uh, press conference again for Free TV. That's not a new press conference. That's the same press conference. And then episode two next week, um, the uh, first. So there's not really much to uh, really, really, really talk about. You know, I mean, like it's it's like, in a way, I'm kind of glad they didn't do a press tour, especially with the way the first press conference turned out. But also, it's like I kind of crave more content, I guess. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm Tishri Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. Put the kids off school, doing me bins, taking the car to get it valeted for a £10 valet, having a haircut on a Monday, you know, going to the gym training. That's it. That's my routine life.